Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful gods and goddesses, Aquarius. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic Sunday, but then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. We're going to get right into it, Aquarius. We're going to be talking about the number zero, and also I'm going to be giving you, you, some tips on recognizing your God station. Yes, yes, yes. By now that you know that this is a general reading, these cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris and these cards right here are the sacred self-care oracle deck by jill pile if you want to know exactly what these cards are go to my website you'll see um that way some people ask what are the name of those cards again and what is what is who, who are the cards by it's on my website queen if you're interested in a personal reading my information is down below let's go aquarius let's go most high god in the universe please give me a special reading for my wonderful gods and goddesses my aquarius we are in the age of Aquarius. People need to recognize we're in the age of Aquarius. In every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful, open-minded, humanitarian, creative, free-spirited, intellectual, the smartest sign in the zodiac, very progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, powerful water bearers, gods and goddesses, the bearers of truth. Yes, celebrating your individuality, Aquarius. What information do we have from our wonderful, wonderful, amazing, highly intelligent Aquarius? What information do we have? Yes, let's go. Let it go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so just ahead of time, this may be an extended reading just because I have some information I want to share with you all. Uh huh. Somebody has a demon spirit in their midst. Mm, 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 mm. And let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. The person blocking y'all money. Here we have the magician card right here. Yep. Magician card, which is attached to the messenger planet, which is Mercury, which is Virgo and um, Gemini's ruling planet. So some of you all have Virgo or Gemini in your in your birth chart. So go pull your birth chart. We have uh, Knight of Pentacles. A lot of y'all are some very hard working people. You can have complete and total synergy in the workplace for you all where you're not having any stress, strain, or struggle in your workplace where it's attached to your money. Also, we have the Three of Wands, right? So some of you all are expecting some major things to happen. I want you all to keep that energy of expecting wonderful things and to happen. But listen, listen, two parts to this. Some of you all have demonic energy around you, right? Well, this type of energy is very, very, very manipulative. It's very crafty, right? So this type of energy could be like a smooth talking person. They seem like they're a nice person. They don't want to let you go. This person is like an albatross around your neck. They just don't want to let you go. And you, you somewhat to some degree is like, well, if I let this person go, am I ever going to find a nice person? At least they mark off, you know, a lot of the check marks on my the character traits that I'm looking for in a person, right? A spirit, right? But trust, they are not. They are very, very, very manipulative, right? Your intuition already told you what you need to know about them. I don't care if they start whining and crying and, you know, well, you know, I don't, I don't want you to run away from me. You seem like you're a runner. You seem like you're a person who just gives up easily on relationships. Don't fall for it, okay, Aquarius, at all. Hey, listen, cut off that air supply, Aquarius. Cut it off. Cut it off. It doesn't matter what form it comes in. That's what we're going to talk about, the God number being zero, um, which God number is zero. But I'm also going to give you some tips and pointers, like I said, um, in recognizing your God station. And also we have the six of pentacles, and this is you receiving money. So listen, some of you all are going to be getting increases on your job. Some of you all are going to be getting, um, because you're a very hardworking person, very, very dedicated the whole nine yards, right? If you are a cusper, meaning that your birthday, um, you know, is towards the end of Capricorn season, this devil energy also means that there's a fear and doubt in you that there's going to be any increase coming for you, right? But I need you to know that you will be receiving a message. You just need to get that devil energy away from you, whether that fear, which is the devil energy with this fear within you, 
or there's some kind of an addiction to, well, am I going to ever find the right person? This person seems like they, they, uh, they meet most of my criteria. They seem like they're a nice person. They don't. I'm trying to tell you, listen, Aquarius, don't get caught up in thinking that I'm going to be by myself forever. If I don't keep this person in my life, this person, they seem like they have a great job. They seem like they got this going on, that going on, this. Listen, they're a test. Okay, that's the only way I'm going to say it. They are a test. That's it. To see, because you all are, again, the smartest sign in the zodiac, just to see if you're going to take your own advice that you've been giving to other people. Are you Aquarius? Hey, this is your test. You don't want to fail it, right? You don't want to repeat another cycle at all. Let's talk about the number zero. Let's talk about the number zero because zero is extremely powerful. The number zero hovers between worlds, right? The number zero, that number that you see behind that dollar sign on your paycheck, that, that one million, right? Those six zeros, ka-chang, right? Listen, all right? So, or 3 million or 5 million or 10 million or whatever, that money that you all are going to be using to hire other people on your, on the, the, the jobs that you all created because you're creating multiple streams of income, you know, that money that you're going to be using to put in water filtration systems in other countries, that same money that you're going to be using to build domestic violence centers for both men and women, that same money, you see what I'm saying, Aquarius, because you all are humanitarian, so... Very seldom does an Aquarius just use money just for themselves. It doesn't even feel right to an Aquarius to just be selfish and use money on themselves. It's usually to help somebody, even building schools, doing whatever. So y'all get the drift? So zero hovers between worlds, between numbers of positive value and numbers of negative value, between the seen and unseen. Therefore, it represents a very unique power. We're talking about the number zero, right? Number zero, if you add it to any number, it expands and empowers that number. So three becomes 30, 70, seven magnifies to 70. And then the more zeros you add, the bigger the value becomes, right? So zero actually represents the God number. It symbolizes the greatest power in multidimensional reality, the supreme balance between light and dark. Zero is the full circle, representing all the universes, all the galaxies, all the multiverses, right? All there is, all there was, and all there will be to experience. So that's what the number zero represents. So when you lose track of time, like a lot of people will say, I lost track of time. Where did time go? I just lost track of time. Or if you're, that's that's when you're experiencing the power of hovering between worlds in a space where it just is. It just is, right? And so each moment expands into timelessness. And so zero takes you to your origins, the original source where there is and always will be only light, total omnipotence, right? When you're sitting now meditating and you reach that God level of clarity, you see things for what it really, really is. Okay, we're talking about it's your highest frequency, that crown frequency. You've activated that God level of clarity where you really see things the way it is. That's how you'll be able to see what's truly with this spirit, right? Don't let your flesh talk you out of it. Don't let your flesh say, well, no, I mean, this person seems to be nice. They seem like they got this going on. This type of person right here, this type of spirit will make you believe you're the only person when they're still holding on to their past, right? Know your worth, know your value, Aquarius. You know who you are, smartest sign in the zodiac, right? Don't let your flesh trip you up, okay? Right, we're going to talk about, again, tips in recognizing your God's station at the end of this reading. And, I pull a, and I'm going to also pull an oracle card. Let's see what else we have here. This type of energy is messing up your money, and just in case somebody, you know, you know, don't hear. Maybe somebody's sitting way in the back of the auditorium and they can't hear what I'm saying. So let me say it for the people in the back. This kind of energy right here. Whether it's fear inside of you or doubt inside of you, is messing up your money, right? A lot of y'all have been expecting some great things to happen, but this kind of energy is messing up your money, right? Don't let this person seem like they're the best thing that ever came into your life because they are not, Aquarius. They are not. You are the best thing that came into your life. When you remove this person out of your life, watch how things change for you exponentially. Watch. Just watch. Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Yeah, I need to start putting some people on block. That person is very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. I can't even say it any other way. They are dangerous. They are also disrupting your business. I need you to see it, Aquarius. A lot of y'all are on fire with your businesses, coming up with all sorts of ideas. They blocking all of that. I need you to be in a posture of gratitude. As a matter of fact, when you see this video, go sit down somewhere, meditate, get to your God level of clarity. 
Listen to the God in you. It is not going to leave you, nor is it going to forsake you, and it's never, ever wrong. Be grateful for it. Be in a posture of gratitude. Be in a posture of gratitude. Close off all access. If you got to block that person or whatever, because even trying to get up out of relationships like this, they're going to always have a reason for, no. If you Okay, I'll give you an example, Aquarius. I'm too busy. I'm trying to run my business right now. I got a lot of stuff going on. They'll say, oh, I'll wait. What you waiting on? We're not the, we're not on the same frequency. What are you waiting for? Or no matter what, they're listening intently. I want you all to hear this, Aquarius. They are this spirit right here will listen very intently to see what it is. It's like they're waiting for you to give them answers to the test. Relationships don't have to be that hard, right? So either they work or they don't work. There's no hovering in between, right? You're a you're a god. You know exactly who you are, right? There is no there is no well, this is the best relationship I'm ever had. That is absolutely not true. You can speak the right relationship into existence. Where guess what? You don't have to compromise your business. You don't have to compromise your ideas. Matter of fact, when you meet the right person, they're going to come into your space. They're going to come into your space offering ideas. Why? Because y'all are on the same frequency. They got their own business, right? So they may come to you and say, well, listen, I got an accountant. This person has been doing S, Y, and Z with me. Or, hey, you want to learn how to create an LLC? I, I know exactly how to do it. I can give you a website without them trying to give you, trying to get in your business. You know what I'm saying? They're actually adding to your life and you're adding to theirs. They're not taking anything away. Where Or let's, let's go a little deeper and how crafty this kind of energy is. Let's say you wake up, you set your intentions. Oh, today's going to be a great day. Not because Queen Amun Ra said it was going to be a great day, but because you set the intention, right? Because I'm not your God, right? And you're not mine. You set the intention. Today's going to be a great day because that's the intention I set. This energy calls you. You feel up. You feel energized. You just ready to start your day. You see a text message from, you don't even have to talk to this person. You just see a text message from this person and you all of a sudden get drained. That's some powerful, crafty energy. You just get drained. Just the thought of them is draining, right? They're disrupting your money. Look, cut this energy off right here and watch you'll see sunny days. All of a sudden, everything just starts to, matter of fact, some of y'all are having dreams and visions of something very scary happening, right? something very scary happening, right? Maybe maybe something that you've experienced in your life, you feel you fear that that thing is going to happen to you again. Why? Because you got some very crafty energy in your space that could jeopardize everything for you. They could really jeopardize everything for you, including multiple streams of income. You got to get that energy out of your space. They are just a, they just a test. Take them blindfolds off. Take them blindfold. They have nothing to offer you. This person could be a new romantic relationship. This person could be a family member. They could be a friend. They could be a new person that you thought was your soul trap. Take those blindfolds off so your ancestors can show you some stuff, right? Y'all are getting visions and dreams. We're moving closer towards the full moon where things are becoming more and more revealed. Take your blindfolds off. That person is dangerous. They are about to be exposed like, oh my God, they're really about to be exposed. Listen. The exposure that's coming through dreams, you're seeing stuff like this person could cause all kinds of stuff from your past to come back up. Where you're just like, oh shoot, right? Nah, you need to cut them off. You just, just need to cut them off. Just block their number or whatever. Or if you have one last conversation with them, just say, hey, listen, you know what? I'm just really busy. I don't have time to be in a relationship. Or if you don't even want to do that, just cut them off altogether. Just go ghost, disappear. But don't ever go backwards with this. Let's talk about two tips to recognizing your God station. The first one is when internal alarms are going off, start moving away from them. The person, place, or thing. Number two, listen to God in you. It is your intuition. It's your gut feeling. It's simply an uncomfortable, sometimes it's simply an uncomfortable feeling. Number three, where there is smoke and flashing lights, guess what? There is danger. You've been burned before, so you already know how it feels. Do not harm yourself anymore, right? Number four, stop volunteering to be Fire Marshal Bill's assistant just to be an extra in their lives. They're trying to mold you, right? 
this type of energy will make it seem like their job is so, so, so important. Like they have all of these connections or whatever, but they're really just looking to mold you to just become an extra in their lives. If you don't know who Fire Marshal Bill is, just go Google and live in color. Fire Marshal Bill. Real funny skits, but there's a message in there as well. Also, number five, stop trying to listen to music through static. You can interpret that however you want to. Number six, you only need one moon phase to see who they are. I talk about moon phases all the time. All you need is one, right? We have the new moon, the waxing crescent moon, the first um, quarter moon, which is a half moon. We have the waxing gibbous moon. We have the full moon, the waning gibbous moon, the last quarter moon, and the waning crescent moon, right? So, for example, during a new moon, that's a quiet, creative, creative, creative time, right? So you may not, you may not feel like, okay, let's say you met somebody around a new moon, right? That's a quiet, creative time. So you may not see fully who they are because you're like, okay, but something in you, if you're tuned into your God channel, will tell you something's off about this person. So you let it ride all the way out into the full moon, which is at, usually at the end of the month, right? You go through that first quarter moon, that's a time to get active, right? So people are starting to tell you a little bit more about themselves, right? Don't let it slip past you because you recognize this energy up front, right? So they're starting to become a little bit more active. They're starting to tell you a little bit more about themselves. Maybe you open it up to them too. Then you get the you got the full moon, right? That's the peak of fulfillment. That's the revelation. That's the illumination where inside there's things about you, whether it's fear and doubt or whether... Or you may be addicted to the idea of being in a relationship, maybe a soul tribe, a romantic relationship, or maybe it's that favorite cousin you should have cut off a long time ago, whatever it is, that fear and doubt. Or it could just be, like I see in this spray right here, you, you intentionally are walking around with blindfolds on because you don't even want to see the truth in this person. Everything is pointing towards a big no. But the, the full moon is going to expose all of it, right? Whether through dreams, visions, whatever it is. Then you got that last quarter moon. That last quarter moon is also there too, right, that you have. That's the time to gather all the information you need. They've said some things. They've done some things that just not on your same frequency, right? That's the time to go ahead and nix it. Let that thing go, right? One thing that does that never goes retrograde is the sun and the moon. They never go retrograde. No and, if so, but it is what it is with that, right? Yes, absolutely. Then we have number seven. I want you all to back up and see the full picture because you're only you could only be looking at one pixel, right? Think of a picture right here. Look at a picture, right? If it's only one pixel, you'll never see this whole sun because you're only looking at one little tiny pixel in it, right? Yes. So you want to back up for a minute and really, really just that first time you hear something that sounds a little off with a person, back up. Just be quiet. Just back up and just watch, right? Number eight, sometimes you got two good people that's just in the wrong place in the wrong time together, right? And so it could mean that maybe... You need some healing. It could mean that they need some healing, but it doesn't make either one of you all bad, right? In this case, the person is demonic energy. I'm trying to tell you, right? I'm trying to help somebody. Number nine, you can block your own blessings by overstaying your welcome in their lives. Remember, you are a God, but you're not their God and they're not yours, right? So you're not trying to change this energy right here. You are leaving this situation because you're like, you're cutting this off. That's the power that you have to cut this type of energy off so that you can continue moving. And, and it can also, like I said, the majority of the minor arcana I'm looking here for you are money cards. It's disrupting your money to even be in a relationship because it's blocking the flow of good information coming through to you from the universe. And then last but not least, stop trying to put them out of your life. You leave. You leave, you leave, you exit stage left. Again, you're not their God. You're not trying to be their God. You leave the situation. It's an unhealthy one. And again, devil energy is so crafty. Sometimes it's like, it's, it's sometimes the hardest energy to leave because there's um, something in you that's fearful. Like, what if I leave this information? You got to create all these scenarios. What if this happened? What if that happened? Uh, they, they can, maybe they can do this to me. They can do that to me. They can't do a thing to you. Not anything. They can't do anything to you. Right. But you don't want to stay in there. You don't want to stay in a relationship with that type of person. Yeah. 
you want to continue building your strength, your third eye. Yeah. I want you all to sit down somewhere and meditate. This energy right here is very crafty. It is absolutely disrupting your money. It's messing up your business affairs and everything. They are extremely dangerous, right? Should I say that they are so dangerous, they could end up killing you. And when I say a phys, I don't mean a physical killing you, even though some people are just that dangerous, they could have you killed or kill you. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but they are so dangerous, in fact, that they could also still kill and destroy your dreams that you already set in motion for yourself, the intentions you put out in the universe. This person is a complete and total disruption to everything in your life. You want to get rid of it, all right? That's what I have for you. Continue building your strength, Aquarius. And don't let anything block your coins. Don't let anything block your energy. And don't let anything block your time. Slow things up. All of this can be released to you immediately if you cut this energy out of your life right now. That's what I have for you. Bye.